Paso says it is still dealing with an overflow of COVID victims at the morgue. El Paso County Commissioner David Stout says 115 bodies are currently being held at the medical examiner's office. As we've reported back in November, inmates at the county detention facility were helping move the bodies due to the backlog. The county has since hired several temporary morgue attendants who are still working to this day. We do still have um, a number of staff that are working at the decedent, uh, with, with, withholding the decedents, as well as the National Guard. They're still deployed and helping the county with those operations. County Commissioner Stout says it's unclear how much longer the National Guard will remain deployed to El Paso. However, he adds that no more additional workers need to be hired. FEMA will begin providing financial assistance for funeral expenses related to COVID deaths that happened after January 2020. FEMA will begin accepting applications next Monday, April the 12th. The assistance is limited to $9,000 per funeral with a maximum of $35,000 per application. Officials say the death certificate must indicate the death was attributed to COVID. Betches Funeral Home says it will help families complete the paperwork since it may be complicated for some. Almost half of El Pasoans are now